Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fade from color to black and white in Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 and I'm gonna show you the technique of going from color to black and white because in previous tutorial videos, I have shown you how to just do black and white all together for the entire clip. And I've shown you how to do color correction on a specific clip, but I've never actually showed you how to merge the two so that they fade from one to the other. All right, so I've got a test clip here in my media bin, and I'm just gonna drag this down to the timeline. And it's a video of me snowmobiling this past winter here for New Year's Eve. And I'm going to go from color to black and white to color again. And this is how you do it. So once I've got it dragged on the screen, make sure it's highlighted. You wanna head over to modify, go over to add effect, visual effects, and then color adjustment. So it was modify, add effect, visual effects, color adjustment. Now, when you click on that, it's going to do like this black and white thing. That's okay. We need to alter it to color first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the color adjustment on the right hand side here. So this is generally what I do. So I bring this contrast down, bring the saturation up. I'm going to bring the brightness down. I'm going to bring the contrast a little bit up. Now it's different with every video that I do, but this is generally the settings. I personally like my video footage to be very vibrant and full of color. So I like it when it pops out like that. So this is how I like it for color. So you want to get it to your color settings first. That's important in order to do the fade effect. So now, I'm going to add an animation to go from this color to black and white. So I'm just going to just maybe move it over here. Then I'm going to head over to animations. And usually when you click on animations, it's going to already be on zoom and pan, but you want to click on animations tab again. So go animations, animations, and then you want to click on the custom and drag it to your timeline onto your media. So you want to drag it to the place where you want the change to happen. So I'm just going to drag it over here. And as you can see, it has this like green arrow thing with a red dot. And now what I want to do is I want to make this black and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the saturation. When you take away the saturation, it's going to make this completely black and white. It's going to take the color out. Now it's up to you to play around with the contrast and the brightness, like the darks to come out more and you can brighten this a little bit. It's up to you or you can leave it as is and just remove the saturation. That's all up to you and how, whatever your preference is. But if you click over here, it's color again. And I'm just gonna play the video and show you what just happened. So I inserted that custom animation of black and white. So I'm gonna play it here. So that's just me on the snowmobile. It's my first time, I was loving it. And now it just goes black and white. So that was like a very seamless transition from color to black and white. Now if I run over the, um, the mouse here, and you can see that it changes to black and white. So it's very cool. Now I'm gonna do the color back again. So now that we have it in black and white, I'm gonna show you to go from black and white to color. So right now we're in black and white right now. So I wanna go back to color. So we need to add another animation, a custom animation, drag it down. I want it to happen at this place. And I'm going to bring back the saturation. I'm going to bring back the color. Now again, it's up to you how you want it. It really depends on your eye. But let's just say it's like that for test purposes. 
and then I'm gonna play it from the beginning so that you guys can see. All right, so we're in color, having fun here. Now we're gonna switch to black and white. It's black and white right now. And then it's going to go into color again. And it's gonna stay in color here. So that was really cool. Here are some other things that you can do to play around. So as you can see, you know, it did it for a certain duration, right? If you want to spread out the duration of transition, the fade, you can do this. You can click on this and stretch out the arrow. So when you stretch it out, you're stretching out the animation and how long it takes to transition from one to the other. So I'll show you what I mean here. So I'll click play again, and it's gonna take longer to transition over. It's gonna slowly extract the color until it's black and white. Now it's completely black and white. Now it's gonna slowly put back the color and bring it back to our full color that we had it at. So stretching out and shortening the arrows will make your animation longer or shorter. So when you put it back, you can make it really short by squishing it. And then you play this here. And it'll happen like in a second. So it's up to you how long you want the fade and the transition to be. So that is it. That is how you transition from color to black and white to black and white to color. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you have a question on Camtasia 9, feel free to put your question down below and I may just create a video on it. And if you like these Camtasia 9 tutorials, also head down to the description because I'll have a free playlist of a whole bunch of videos for you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.